Hello, my followers. Welcome back to another uh, 2013 Princess Redesign discussion. I know it's been basically a year since I did my last one. Okay, not a year, but it's been a while. It's been about a month since uh, I did the last princess, which was um, Snow White. Um, I will be continuing today with um, another princess. Um, and a lot of you are going to probably get on me for using the word princess. Because she's not a princess, but you know what? She is, because Disney made her one, and they crowned her, and yeah. So she is a princess, in my opinion. So yeah, just getting that out. Okay, so I'm sure you guys know who already I'm going to be talking about. Um, we're totally winding down on these videos. Um... I've done almost everybody except our last two. Today I will be discussing Mulan, though. Um, I kind of was saving Mulan for towards the end because I knew this was going to be a more in-depth discussion. I don't know how in-depth I'm going to get with it. But um, it this one will take a bit. This might be one of my longer videos. I try not to. Bear with me. I'm kind of... I'm not really... Like, I don't have any thing planned out too much, so uh, this is just going to be a tangent of me talking. Uh, I mean, I have some examples to show, but, um, so, basically, yeah, so, this is Mulan, and with a lot of the other, a lot of the princesses, you know, they have multiple redesigns, and like, um, Pocahontas, Mulan, for one of her designs, didn't get that much of a change. She just got, um, all the sparkles put all over her. She got glitterified. So, um, that's what it is here. So this is how Mulan has basically always really appeared on a lot of product. It's that same stance, same pose, same outfit. Um, her hair just got more, um, textured, I guess, so you can see that it's, it's not just black. And then, um, her outfit's the same. They just, um, added sparkles all over it. So, um, what I'll be doing is showing you an example. Mulan has appeared in two different outfits over the years. Um, here is one. This one, actually, I'm surprised they use so often because it was one that I'd never seen um, growing up too much. But, um, yeah, this is how Mulan has been seen in stuff or has been seen on stuff in the past. Um, I do have some examples of her on it like this. Um, bear with me, my printer, this is also something I'm going to let you guys know, um, my printer is low on ink, so the colors aren't as vibrant, her skin is very pale, um, that's a discussion for the redesign later, but, um, yeah, so sorry for my printer being so, um, low on ink, but, um, yeah, this is how Mulan has been portrayed, one of her portrayals, um, this is her, her everyday wear, basically, um, they, you know, everyone always complains about her other one, like, that's not the outfit that she wants to wear, that's not who she is, and all that, that stuff, and I mean, I think that's why they started kind of showing her in this, you know, to give more of a variety and to please, you know, people. I don't know if they really think about that stuff, but I mean, I'd like to think they do. Um, yeah, so that's one of the, this is one of the portrayals of Mulan. The one that everyone knows more about is no oh, actually let me just show you so unlike one of the products they did this was the singing doll they did for Mulan last year this one's not my favorite singing doll she doesn't have her red fabric here so I kind of kind of bummed me out uh, I'm glad they did her though so um but yeah so here is see as you can see she's more vibrant here so um this is how she's been portrayed like this on product also, um, the Disney pins at, that they sell at the park right now, um, she's featured like that too. And you know, and that's, that's the discussion I was making about, um, Pocahontas, you know, they don't get too much change. Like, it's the same. They, they're, her and Pocahontas and Mulan sadly don't get too much love or attention so you know their designs are always or their poses it's like they have two and like that's what they use on everything over the past like since the movie came out or since the disney princess line was started um so yeah that was those that's the her and her everyday outfit 
Um, I'm going to show you, this is technically one of her newer designs, um, but this is this year's singing doll. This one's really good because it, they got her sash and everything. So this one's a lot better in my opinion. And the fabrics are a lot nicer. Um, so yeah. So this is, I'm kind of using this also as an example of how she's looked on stuff in the past. You know, this, it's, it's this look, um, but she's just not sparkly. So, um, you know, this is, I'm using this for the new one and then also to kind of give you guys an example of the old one. So basically on everything, Mulan has always appeared like this or like this, minus all the glitter. Um, so... I mean, I, I like the way the artwork has changed a little bit also, you know, adding more defined details to the hair and to the face. Um, they look, they have a little bit, they have more depth to their face and everything like that. Um, so that I like. So yes, here is this. She's been portrayed like this on a lot of other stuff. The bag I have, PJ's backpack, stuff like that. So, now what I'm going to show you is the redesign. Another, the the biggest change redesign. And how I'll start off the discussion is, you know, you know, everyone says Mulan, technically Mulan is not a, she's not a princess in her movie. That, I'll give you that. She's not a princess. We get it. Um, you know, that's not what makes a Disney princess, though. You know, you don't have to be a princess in your movie to be considered a Disney princess. You know, if Disney decides who, I mean, I, there's a lot more to it, but it's basically who they, basically they choose. And, you know, like, I'm having a brain moment here, but, um, she fits the ideals of what a Disney princess is, and she's a good role model for girls. Um... You know, people have been asking me, like, why aren't Kida or Esmeralda in, in the line? You know, a lot of it has to do with, you know, with, like, Kida, you know, she's... Yeah, she has good morals and standards, but the movie wasn't as popular, and that's the only thing I could really think of for that. Um, and as far as Esmeralda, Esmeralda used to be in the Disney Princess line, but she was taken out um, shortly after its creation. The only reasoning why I could think of that is because... Hunchback of Notre Dame, yes, it was very successful, but it deals with mature themes, and I think, and you know, if you notice, Hunchback has kind of been pushed into the depths of the Disney vault, so Disney doesn't delve too much into it, like, Long Lost Friends Weekend is having a Disneyland right now, she's actually there, so, you know, but it's, it's one of those, uh, that was their, their choice, I think, was, um, I mean, I think she had, she stood for a lot of things, but it's because of the movie, it's a little bit more mature and stuff like that. So, you know, Mulan, she fits the ideals of a Disney princess, the mythology. She sings, even though we know a Disney princess doesn't need to sing now, <clears throat> Merida. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Mulan's never really had a princess outfit. You know, they have her basic outfit, that, this one. And then there is, um, her matchmaking, or matchmaker outfit. And everyone always, you know, that everyone always complains about it, like, you know, that's not the dress she likes to be in, and, uh, like, that's not who she is, and stuff like that. So, you know, that's why I think Disney created this one. Yes, it is completely different than anything they've done before, and she's never worn this movie. But they made this, I think, as her princess outfit. So, the first thing I'm going to do, actually, because there's been some controversy over this makeover. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you, actually, is... I wish I would have would have prepared this. Is show you a black and white rendition. Or not black and white, but just one that doesn't have color. So, I'm going to use a coloring page from that awesome activity book I bought the other day. Um... Oh god. Everyone is here. Okay, here it is. So here is the look. 
So one thing you can notice right off the bat is it's a completely different pose. They made a new um, pose for her, so they're not using the same standard like one arm behind the back, head kind of tilted off the side, or the one with where her hands like up like this. Um, they made a completely new pose for her. Yes, her hair is long, but you know what? Rapunzel's hair is long and blonde. So, I mean, basically what happens to the characters in the movie doesn't affect the character how they're marketed. So this is how they are, like, just themselves. This this is going into it, like, without the movie being there. Basically, that's how you kind of have to think about it. Um, cause, and, so, this is the princess, I'm, this is what I, I call this her princess look. Finally, she has a princess look. This is her princess dress. Um, there was controversy. So, I will show you. They have made... So originally when this look came out, she was in this color. So it was red and gold. And, um, you know, right off the back, it reminded me of Chinese New Year. I mean, I don't know too much about it, but I mean, I, I see where they were going with this. And, you know, I liked it. I didn't have a huge problem with um, it being this color. I mean, yeah, it was totally different and it came out of nowhere. But, you know, so, did, so does Ariel's green dress. Like, it's kind of out of nowhere. So that's how we kind of have to start thinking about this stuff now is that, you know, it's... It's... It's, yeah, it's not movie accurate, but these characters are living past their movies, you know? This is, it's a franchise. It's not, um, based on their films. Like, this is them if they were, as they are now. And so they created this look. Um, I liked it, but there was an uproar. And I think that's why, because as soon as they, as soon as this image debuted on the Disney princess website, um, a lot of people, I think, messaged Disney and complained or something, because, like, literally two days later, they changed it. So the picture was different on the website, and, um, they updated it. Two, I will show you. So this is one, the colors aren't as vibrant, I wish they were, I'm sorry they're not. Um, they updated it to this. So, I love this. Right off the bat. Just gonna say, I think this is beautiful. Um, you can see they kind of tied in the color scheme of this dress to make it seem like this totally didn't come out of nowhere. Um, because before it kind of did, but now it looks like, you know, they based it off of this look. I think they were, they were kind of forced to base it off of this because of how everyone was complaining about it. But I mean, I understood the concept of the gold and red dress, you know, it was, it was new. It's, you know, her, it was her princess dress, you know, Mulan doesn't have a princess dress. So they created one for her, just like how they created one for Ariel in the parks. So, um, I love this look though. This, I prefer this one over the gold. I was really happy when I saw this one. Um, it, I like that they incorporated the colors from her, you know, traditional style. But I mean, I like that it's totally different and out of nowhere. It's a lot more regal and elegant. Um, so yeah, I'm, so I, I kind of don't want to say I'm happy that people complained because I hate that. Really do. <laughs> but um, I'm kind of okay with it. So I love this out of, I think, my favorite redesign, or one of my favorite poses is that one I talked about last, or last month was Snow White in that new pose. Um, I think this is definitely, though, one of my favorites next to Pocahontas. Of course, I like the two that no one likes. Um, but next to Pocahontas, I really, um, I think this is a, uh, they did a great job on it. I love, I like this one more than the yellow and red one. I did like that one to begin with, but this one I like a lot more. So, and you know how I can tell that this was kind of a last minute thing by Disney to change? Because on all of the product that are that they're coming out with still, it still it still features her in um the yellow and red look. So like I mean this is stuff that they had planned out, you know, months, like almost a year ago. So like this is before, you know, they changed it to this new look. 
So they're still coming out with product with her in the red and yellow one. So, I mean, eventually I'm sure it'll change. But like, here's another example. Like this bag just came out. Oh yeah, I should start using this bag because I like it a lot more than the other one. Um, but yeah, this bag features Mulan for the first time in her redesigned look. It does have her in the other color, but I think just, once again, it's just this one came out a lot um, sooner. So they were ready with this one. Now I'm sure they'll eventually change it to this look. Pocahontas, again, though, didn't get anything, but, you know, she, she has appeared as in the new look on stuff. Yeah, here's the side of the bag. I love, I think this bag is really awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, but there she is in that look. So, overall, you know, I know a lot of people are like, what did you do? What happened to Milan? What did you do to her? You know, it's, they made a princess dress for Mulan. You know, she doesn't have one in the movie, because in the movie, she's not a princess. I like to think that she got crowned after her movie, you know, as a Disney princess. Disney crowned her as one. Um, so, I think that kind of concludes my discussion. I kind of wanted to talk about... Oh, here's... You guys might kill me for this. I kind of want to talk about it, but... So, you know, people always say, why don't they portray Mulan in her warrior outfit? her warrior one. And I'd, I'd love it if they did. I personally would love it. And, you know, just from a standpoint of what's going to market, I know you guys are totally going to chew me out for this. If they were to create a doll with Mulan in this dress, and if they were to create another doll, same time, of Mulan in her warrior outfit, I do think people will buy the warrior one, but the one of her in this outfit will just sell so much more. And I know that sounds terrible, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's kind of, you know, what it's about. And, you know, they've made sets in the past that come, that they sell Mulan's warrior outfit. They have made them in the past. So, you know, it is there and it is available, but, you know, it comes down to if there was this one or that one, little girls are going to go after this one. Yes, there are going to be girls who want the other one, and they still make that thing, but Disney can't make everybody happy. Does that make sense? You know, it's just, at least there is something. They have done Warrior Mulan's outfit. Like, right now at Disneyland, it's Long Lost Friends Week for the limited time magic, and you can meet Warrior Mulan there, which I think is totally awesome, and I'm actually going there on Sunday so I can meet her and Esmeralda and Pocahontas and John Smith and everybody. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to end it on that note. You know, I really like Mulan. Um, I, I feel like I really talked about more why she sh is a princess, but, um, yeah. I love her new design. I can't wait for it to start showing up like this on product. Um, I do like the gold and red one. It's not as my not as much of a favorite as this one, but um, I like the change. Um, people complained about the skin color being really light, and yeah, I know on those pictures that they released online they're really light. Um, but if you look on the product, they're not like her skin tone isn't too light here. And like Pocahontas, on that one online, she's really light, but on all the product that she's appearing on, she's still appearing with darker skin. I just think it was because of, I don't know, the graphics or the design, I don't know. The website's different. The website is the only thing I've ever seen them with that kind of skin tone. Um, so that's, I'll leave you guys with that. But um, thank you very much for watching. This was a really long video. I'm really sorry. Um, I have one princess left, Rapunzel. We'll see when she pops up. I'll talk about her. Um, she'll be my last one. Um, if you guys have any video ideas, please uh, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me on thedisneydifference.tumblr.com. Um, and if you guys want to know anything else, I'm running out of, I mean, I don't have really, really have any other video ideas. So um, leave me comments. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good night.